In this patient information film, we will follow Taryn Hatton-Jones from diagnosis of her ACL rupture through treatment to her return to sports. She will be under the care of Dr. C.C. Kong. You will also meet Dr. Terence Chan. Together, they comprise Asia Medical's team of surgical knee specialists. A ligament is a fibrous band that connects two bones together, usually across a joint. It's the basic stabilizing block of a joint, hard to tear and well fixed down, but flexible enough to allow movement. It's also a little elastic to better absorb shocks and strains. The ACL, or anterior cruciate ligament, with its sister, the posterior cruciate ligament, is one of the big four ligaments of the knee that braces the femur, or thigh bone, to the tibia, or shin bone. These two ligaments cross each other in the knee, hence the name cruciate. The other main constituent of the inner knee is cartilage. This Teflon-like surfacing lines the ends of bones and aids smooth movement of bone past bone, as well as providing excellent absorption of shocks. The menisci are the cup-shaped pieces of cartilage that ring the top of the tibia. The ACL's main job is to control the knee during pivoting motions when the knee is almost straight. The commonest action a sports person will do involving the ACL is a cutting or sidestepping action, such as changing direction when running. That said, pretty much any time the knee is in use, so will be the ACL. The ACL's ability to stabilize pivoting motions comes from its structure, there being two distinct bundles which wrap around each other, giving torsional rigidity to the knee. These are called the AM and PL bundles and are reconstructed individually when employing the double bundle repair technique. It's this accurate anatomical reproduction of the ACL that is credited with giving greater stability to the repaired knee than is achieved with a conventional single bundle ACL reconstruction. Um, as soon as I hit the floor, I, my knee twisted in, twisted out. I heard a, quite a severe pop. Um, felt pain, but nothing, nothing too serious at that point. Um, and realized that I'd definitely done some damage when, when I tried to get up. I was jumping to contest the ball. I stuck my right leg out to sort of kick the ball out of the air. My, both my feet were off the ground. Uh, someone came in from the side and caught me, I think it was with his foot, just on the outside of my right knee. So my left foot didn't touch the ball, but it was on the ball, so the left foot was on the ball. Unfortunately for me, it's the third time that I've um, torn my ACL, so I actually pretty much knew what it was straight away when it happened. I really thought I fell down, tripped over something, and tried to get back up, but I couldn't. I didn't hear any popping sound or cracking sound. But at that point, I mean, it was hugely swollen. You could see it had just gone wham. Even with the ice, it was probably about twice the size of what a knee should be. So um, I knew it was something relatively big. そちらの上海なんですけれどもそこの病院にまず行きましたで専門のドクターがいらっしゃらなかったようなのでまずジェネラルドクターの方にかかってでそこでま連途減と um, tried to go back onto court again and realized obviously then that I, uh, the knee was, was out of commission. And any sort of pivoting motion was, was very painful. Any, any jumping on the knee was quite painful. Any sudden movements, um, again, quite painful. Okay, now relax the hamstring and then the, uh, this anterior draw test, we can see that the um, uh, your knee is unstable and the, your shin bone is moving excessively to the front. Okay, now keep your legs. And the second is the alignment test. And again, the uh, 
we can see that the um, the ACL is loose. Now this is uh, we call a pelvic shift test. Um, uh, this test is very specific for the ACL problem, so I can feel the um, jerky motion of the knee. So basically, uh, your knee is jumping out and in, yeah. so that the uh, all the tests are positive. He pretty much on examination said to me, "I think you've ruptured the ACL, and um, we need to do an MRI." So I came for an MRI here as well. Um, and I was as shocked as anybody when the results came back within a couple of days and they said it was a complete tear of the ACL. Now ACL is, the, uh, is a ligament uh, sitting in the middle or the centre of the joint that connect your thigh bone and shin bone. Um, this is the MRI of your knee. Uh, this in the front, this kneecap in the front, uh, the thigh bone and shin bone. Now, um, this is your, um, the damaged ACL. Normally, we should see a uh, very nice ligament in this position. And meniscus damage, everything else is okay? Now, the black triangle here is your meniscus. It's a normal in appearance. We need to uh, check the meniscus again by the arthroscopy because sometimes the MRI may not be able to demonstrate minor injury of meniscus. The meniscal cartilages help to spread the load from the femur around the joint. In ACL injuries, the meniscal cartilages are often torn as the ACL gives way and the femur moves. So, how's your knee? Um, right now, I still have some clicking on my mm. knee. Yeah. Where is exactly the click? It's on the outside of my knee. Mm -hmm. yeah. And other than click, does it hurt? Um, right, a little bit when little I do bit. full squats. And uh, what about when you do exercise? Um, if I push it hard, then uh, I will feel a little bit discomfort. Mm -hmm. Have you ever come across locking or swelling? Only some clicking. Clicking yeah. only. Yeah. Okay. Victor, I'm going to palpate around your knee. Let mm. me know if it hurts. Okay. okay. Spine That's over there. No, yeah. Okay. Okay. What about the outer joint line? Uh, a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. Right. And then uh, I'm going to perform the McMurray test. It may hurt a bit and okay. let me know, okay? Okay. Okay, I feel some clicking in there. Mm. And yeah. does it hurt? A little bit. Yes, yeah. okay. I'm going to do the FB grinding test. Mm. Does it hurt? Uh, it's okay. It's no pain, right? Yeah. Your medial meniscus is all right? A little bit of uh, discomfort there. A little bit of pain. Yeah. Uh -huh. So again, this sign is positive, which is suggestive of an uh, outer meniscal tear. Okay. Victor, here is the set of MRI of your right knee. Here is the inner side, while there is your outer side. The bright signal there, which signifies there is a tear in your outer meniscus. And while in the inner side, it appears black which is normal. In terms of what exactly is the meniscus? Okay, here is the uh, knee model, okay? And um, this is the end of your thigh bone and here is your top end of the shin bone. The white here, the lunar shape, is the outer meniscus. It serves uh, to provide conformity around your knee and it acts as a soft absorbent to share the load around your knee. Um, what's the treatment going to be like? Because you are young, active, and uh, the, it causes you now uh, problems, such as a click, the pain, and occasional locking. So I suggest it's a keyhole surgery to get it repaired. Um, is there like, another option like other than surgery? If you leave it untreated, the tear may get bigger and cause you more trouble and your knee may end up with early osteoarthritis. Then I was given the choice of three different things. That was leave it and do nothing, um, have physio and try and strengthen the leg enough to be able to return to some, but not all sport, or have the surgery. 
and more than likely be able to return to any sport I liked. He explained you know, what the ACL did, why I need it, how it's relevant for me in terms of twisting and turning and playing sport. And I do play quite a lot of sport. I play golf, I play tennis, I play football, and they're just the ones that involve twisting on the knee. So, one of the two options is that I have a option. Of course, I was also a football player. I actually wanted to play football. So, there's no reason to play football. So, I just decided to do it. I decided to do it. I decided to do it. Story you told me, and also my feeling on your knee in examination, uh, the damage should be quite severe, and that should be our uh, we call the complete tear. You have options, okay. Now the first option is um, surgery. It means that the uh, give you a new ligament, namely the ACL reconstruction, okay. so make your knee stable again. The second option is that the uh, uh, you go through uh, physiotherapy to basically have a strengthening program to compensate for this instability, but that will not be complete, okay? And then you have to be a little bit uh, quite cautious about your exercise. Um, say uh, you should avoid the pivoting exercise. Okay, so if I, if I do not have the surgery, then the sports that I choose to play, I can't? Um, it's not recommended okay. because uh, you get injury again and again. At the end, you may end up with uh, quite obvious arthritis in long term. Okay. Well, I just to go now to show my dance was just getting it. I know to a motor no day, go for the mother to my name, nigga, what guy, which me, she's it's about okay to a court to a my master. I've not ever had an operation before, but I certainly didn't want to stop playing sports already. Uh, and so I'm booked in. So, at that time, he very clearly, very clearly told me, "Uh, we will do a surgery. It's a very important surgery. Because if you want to continue to do your work, especially the more intense and the more demanding work you have to do for the joint, most likely you need the uh, ACL reconstruction. But that if we find something else like the meniscus damages." Then we're going to fix it by a standard meniscus repair. Right. So basically, we fix all the problem in one go. Doctors Kong and Chan both operate at the Matilda International Hospital in Hong Kong and the United Family Hospital in Shanghai.